Hello everyone, I'm Lee. In this video, we are going to look at how to use Enum in Java. It's quite different from C++. In C++, when we talk about Enum, we know it's just a bunch of named constant that has a, a, a special data type for them. And essentially, they're just small integers for a new data type. But in Java, it's much more sophisticated than that. So how about let's take a look at the sample code. Um, this time, when we think about student object, I want to add another attribute. It's a school year. Are you a sophomore or freshman or a junior or a senior? So I want to model that additional uh, attribute. So it seems like a new is a good choice because you only have that uh, limited number number of options for this this year data type. So let's take a look at uh, enum in Java. So public enum year. This is how we create a data type called enum. So public enum year. And now you see this part so far pretty familiar. You have freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, the possible values. But the big difference here is you see those ones even take a parameter. So those ones, they're not integer. They're not 0, 1, 2, and 3. Those ones are actually objects. So let's take a look at this whole thing. So this enum looks like a class definition. It even gets its own attributes. In our case, I put one attribute inside this data type called max lab hours. Assume we say, hey, the uh, we have different uh, rules about the max lab hours. Like for freshmen, they got 10 hours. Sophomore, they got 20 hours. So I want to keep track of this max lab hours in the year data type because it varies from year to year. And you can actually put any year related attributes here inside of this year data type. All right, so we to make it simple, we only have one attribute that's related to the year. It's that's max lab hours. And then you see, I have a constructor here. Say, give me the initial hour. I'm going to initialize it with that. So that's where this parenthesis is. Okay, we will look at detail into that later. So, and we have an access method about this max lab hour, and we override the two string method. So, now let's come back to those ones. They're objects. What kind of objects are they? They're public. That means you can access freshmen from outside of this class, this year class. And they're public, they're static. Static means they can just use freshman by saying year dot freshman because they're static. And they're final. That means you cannot change them. So that's why I use all uppercase convention here. They're final objects. So you can imagine I create an object of year, call it freshman. And when I create, I use uh, year freshman equal to new year pass in the lab hour as 10. So that's what's behind the scene. So it looks like this. So essentially, that's what this one is. It's public, static, and uh, final. OK, this is essentially what's going on behind the scenes. It's public, static, final. You have an object of year called a freshman. And uh, you uh, create a year object and pass in the line, uh, the hour 10. So, but we don't use that syntax. What you see is that look like this. So, but I will put this here for your reference. So essentially, that's what's really going on. OK. And so now we know freshman, sophomore, junior, senior are just some uh, pre-created objects for us to use. That's all. All right. And now let's take a look at this one, the constructor. It looks weird because it's a private. 
So we really see private constructor. Think about the whole deal about constructor is for the client to instantiate you and to use this constructor to initialize the instance variable. If it's a private, that means the client cannot instantiate this year class. Then what's the point for year to exist if nobody can instantiate you? But we know the point. So the programmer who created this year data type, they already created four objects for you to use. They don't want you to create any other objects of year. They just want you to use those pre-created objects. That's why they purposely keep it private. We can do it here. We can create a new year here because we're inside of this class. But outside of the class, you cannot create another another object of year. That's by design, this private. All right, and we have that access method. The rest of them are straightforward. So in summary, uh, this is what we do. The enum data type in Java could carry lots of information. You can put whatever attributes related to this enum type inside of it. And you see, in our case, we have one attribute that's max lab hours inside of this. So it's a full. It, it's a full object. It's a complete object. It's not just some simple integer here. Now let's take a look at the client of this year of this year object. One of them is student data type, and take a look at our student. We have a added attribute, and in this attribute uh, we initialize this one. We initialize this one in the constructor, we, and we add uh, the third constructor uh, with this year object. And we have a, a get year, and we have a set year, and we add a method called get lab hours. So we can ask students, "What's your lab hours?" And the student object says, "Okay, I have an object called year. It knows everything about like lab hours. I will just designate this." This task to my year object. Say, go ahead and do that for me. So, if you're a freshman, the year object should contain freshman. So the get max lab hours for freshman get invoked. Next year, if I ask you the same question, you're sophomore, then the get max lab hour for sophomore get invoked. So you got the appropriate lab hours. All right, so that's the student class, and now let's take a look at the test enum. Test enum here. When I create student object, you see I need to give it a year. How do I have a year object? I say year dot freshman. Remember, it's public and static. That's how I how I use that object. And year dot values will give you all the uh, string values of those. Uh, those constant variable or final, final objects. So you will see freshman, junior, senior, and sophomore there. And uh, what else? Let's see. Here we can ask student for lab hours, but we know student just ask their year object for the lab hours. So that's it for the enum data type in enum data type in in Java. So. The enumerant are actually objects. I'll just compile them for you. Uh, thank you.